Hi, John here again, and here we are. <laughs> part six, chapter three. So <laughs> this part six is already into three sections. Wow. Anyway, so we've found the landing coordinates, and what we're going to do is we're going to put them in to the Neptune lander now and have our uh, landing routine set up. So let's get started. So here we are. We've got version 5. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to make version 6. Copy everything from version 5 into version 6. There we go. Don't need version 5 anymore. Don't need the land ref, x ref. Don't need the data collider. Right. So what we're going to do is the, there are the, there's only going to be one way where we're going to be testing if we've landed in the right places when they collide with some with the the data because we want to detect that they've hit the landing pad yeah but we've also we've already said that if the if if we've hit the data then we're going to that 890 place where we do the um, explosion so what we need to do is we need to say right we're not going to do 890 we're going to go to 800 and in 800 well in fact make, let's make it 600 give us some give us some breathing space so what we're saying is right we've hit something we now need to determine what we've hit all right so the first thing what we need to do is we need to eliminate the landing zones and if we've eliminated that it's a landing zone then it's hit something else and so we die so the quick way I think it the best way is doing is to test the Y the Y position of the sprite right because it's a quick and easy test right so what we're going to do is going to say if Y is equal to and if we look at the landing sprite so it's 229 one through three and two oh five. So if it's equal to two two nine or y is equal to one three three or y is equal to uh two oh five so we're saying if that any of these three levels then uh we go to 610. 605. If it's not any of those three levels, then we go to 890, which is the crash routine. Right, so that's the first thing we've done. Is our sprite on any of those levels? The next thing we need to do is now test if it's on any of those three levels, where in the X uh, that uh, X position is it so what we need to do is then test the X so we say if X is equal to um, this is where we need to do the range where we're looking at range so if X is greater than or equal to the first one which is 64 64 and x is less than 66 then we're on a winner yeah but what we need to do is we need to go right if or and then we need to do the same again 
And again. Alright. So, the next one is 144. So if it's 144 or less than 146. And the last one is 265. 265 and less than 267 because of the 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 buffer zone. So we're saying if it's any of those then 830. So I think we're on 820 at the moment. Oh no, 620. So 615, if it's not one of them, go to the crash routine. 890. So hopefully by this point we've we've said that it's one of the three Y coordinate and it's one of the three sets of X coordinates. So now we need to identify because at the moment, you see, we could be on Y133, but X66, which is not right, because X. So we now need to test for each of the landing zones, yeah? So, we'll start with 620, because that's what we're doing, and we're going to test for test for landing zone 1. So, 630. So if y is equal to 2, 2, 9 and open bracket x is that then landing zone equals 1 and then we're going to go to a line number that hasn't been defined yet Oops. Where are we? There we are. We're going to a line number that hasn't been defined yet. Yep. Yeah. I think that line may be a bit too long. Right, so we'll take some of these spaces out. Hopefully. That will reduce our line length a bit. That looks better. <clears throat> so we're going to some line number that doesn't exist yet. So we need to test for landing zone 2. So if y is equal to 133 and X is here, so we'll get these to look the same. Then LZ equals two, go to a line number. And so we, we do the fine do the final one as well. So copy that. So if y is two oh five and x is two six two six five or less than two six seven then LZ is equal to 3. Now, I'm going to put an extra line in here, but logically we should never have it. But I'm going to say, if it doesn't match any of these, we go to the death cycle. So our line number is 670. So 670, 670, 670. And here we do... Uh, uh, print home y 
Well done, Commander. And then go to 680. So that's the, the landing test. So it's just a simple thing just to check that we've done it. Right, let's see if we can hit it. All right. F5. So it's A and D and T for thrust. Okay. Ooh, it's 50. Ooh! We have a rogue character in 50. Yeah, rogue character. A, D and T. A for thrust left, push right, D to thrust right, push left, and T for thrust in itself. There we go, thrust, slows us down, thrust, oh it's going the wrong way, that's it, going for the easy one. Whoa, 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 ah! <laughs> Rubbish. Oh, need to reset the sprite multicolor. Yeah, we need to set the sprite multicolor and we need to slow it down because it's way too fast. So, oh, I don't know. We'll leave that a moment. Let's try again, see if we can do it, but we'll go for the end one, because that's the easiest one. We'll go for the end one. Ah, but this software won't handle the end one, will it? No, because it's going too far. It's going way too quick. There we go. <laughs> oh dear. That's way too too hard. Way too hard. Oh my god. God. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Let's, uh, one more go. And if not, we're going to have to make this a little bit easier to, <laughs> to do. Right. Oh god, it's too quick. Oh. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, okay. Right. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna halve the speed. We're gonna halve the speed, so uh so that's fifty six, that's gonna be one one two, isn't it? Ah <sighs> one one two. So it takes hundred and two cycles to get to the, the max. Okay. <laughs> Great Scott! Right. Right, here we go. Wait for it to start up. Oh, wrong way. It's better, it's a bit easier to control.
Oh, you little sod. Did you see it just dive bomb it right at the very end? Run. Let's try again. That's because only one key can register at any one time. Oh, God, that is really hard, that one is. Really hard. Okay, let's, um, we need to put the code in to make it go all the way to the other end. So remember what we did um, on the, the previous program. So we're going to change that to 9, change that to 8, change that to 7, and this can be 6. Two, one, five. And we'll rem this out. Okay. Uh, so what's the maximum X? I think it's 320, isn't it? So we'll say if it's greater than 320. And then we'll... No, we'll just rem it out. We'll just rem it out. We'll think about that later. Right. So, x high equals int x divided by 256, and x low is equal to x minus, alt bracket, x high star 256. And then here we put x low and poke. Oh, that's nice. Oh, over again. It is about five three two six four. Five three two six four comma x high. Because it's only going to be zero or one, and we're using sprite one. So hopefully now we should be able to get to that that far landing pad and see if we can land on it bang on. So we'll try and get into the right position and then lower ourselves down. First we need to get over that mountain. There we go. Right, slow the X down. There we go, we're slowing the X down. And slow the descent down. Whoa, it's going too quick. Oh, look at that. We were so close. So close. Right, let's try it again. Right, let's get ourselves moving. Going the wrong way. Come on. Oh, 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 we go. Up we go. Over the top. Nicely done. Slow X down. Slow the razor descent down. Slow X down. Slow the razor descent. There we go. Right, is that in line? Slow. Nice and gently. Slowly does it. So we need to um, we need to put some uh, thrust points in. We've got two sprites at the moment, which is our thingy sprite and our lunar lander. And what we need to do is we need to have some thrusting coming out 
of the, the lander so I can give the user an indication of how where they're going so what we need to do is so if we put that up there right so we need to create a new sprite there we go and we need so we're going to create the thrust from down here so we want to create the thrust from here so it comes down along and back up again so we're definitely on that line there and it's two in two out and then it's up the rest is okay so we'll go to that one we're going to make our sprite color red and it's going to be that one that one that one that one so go to the scratch pad we can put that on top of it there we go so as you can see the reds there so let's put some more on so we're going to go out like so clear that one out what's it look like there yeah out one more yeah that'll do and then we're going to come down to here come down to here and just give it there we, are. there we go so that's what I'm in by thrust so that's the thrust for thrusting of course create a new one and this time we're going to put sprite 4 up there oh put it on top of there that's it and what we're going to do we're going to bring the flames coming out here around here so we're on that line 4 in on that line 4 in so there 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 and there I think it is no not that one and then we're going to come out like so I'm going to do that so look at the scratch pad yeah that looks a bit silly looks a bit silly that does it's too near the antenna so where do we want it so it'll have to be here so four in okay we'll do it there so four in Oops. Four in. Miss one. And then it's like that. I'll give it that. So look at the scratch pad. That's better. And so we'll do the same. So we'll copy. Create a new one. Paste. And then we'll flip it left to right there we go put the scratch pad up let's grab that put it on top there and it's in the right place there we go that's what we want so magnification will do times four so that's the sort of thing right the, the left hand one needs yeah it needs filling in there oh, well, that looks silly now put it there like that that's it okay right 
So we've got sprites uh, 3, 4 and 5. So we need to export them. So let's close that and save it. Let's put our line numbers where we need it. So we're going to be there. It's going to be 3000. Neptune Lander. So we're going to export sprites 3, 4 and 5. File, export to listing. Starting at 3000. 5. And we're doing 3 to 5. Export 3 to 5. Okay. Oh, that didn't work, did it? Let's do that again. Gym Lander. File export to listing. 3000. Steps of 5. 3 to 5. Generate 3 per line. Okay. Better. So we've added three more sprites. So where we read the sprites in, so it's now 15. So 13, 14, 15. So what we need to do now is we need to set another sprite. Yeah. So we're setting another sprite that's going to have exactly the same um, <clears throat> exactly the same um, coordinates as the main sprite. So, so let's set the main sprite. So, so that's the thing sprite, so poke, so we'll use sprite to 2041, comma, nothing, and we'll poke the same, same sprite, so 53251, oh, boom, poke. Five three two five one comma y and poke five three two five oh comma x. We are going to give our new sprite number colour. Five three two eight eight comma two. I think it's red, isn't it? Let's just check my Bible. I'm taking this Bible so much that pages are starting to fall apart. Yeah, two. Two is red. And so I need a sprite with no data in it. Yeah, I need a sprite with no data in it. Yeah. Yep, sprite 6. So, file. Okay. Yes. Let's go to the bottom. 3500. So, file. Export to list in three five hundred lines of five and we're doing six to six. Six to six. So it should be all zeros, there we go. So we've got another sprite to load in. 
So that's Sprite 16. Right, so 275 plus 16 is 285, 286. So we should poke that one with, sorry, 186. That should be a blank sprite. Um, so we set it with the X and Y. And we say uh, thrust sprite equals 186. And if the thrust has been done, then thrust sprite equals. So it was. Um, so in the death throws, what sprite number do we go to? 186. How can that be 186 and that be 186? Because we've just added three sprites. Okay, 175, 16. So that's 175, 191. That's gonna be close. 175 plus 16, 15 is 190. That is close. Right, so we need to change this to 170. Right, where's the calculator? And we're 35 minutes into this. Amazing how time flies. <clears throat> right, 170 star 64. 10, 880. 10, 880. 10, 880. So I'm making this 170. Um, the death throw is minus 5, so that's going to be 172, 181. So we can now say that we are sprite number 16, which is going to be 186. Hey, hey. so we're right now. So sprite is 186. When it goes to thrust, that is 186.54184. TS equals um, 1 8. So if we're pressing D, that's that way. So that was 185. TS equals 186. So it can't be 186 for the blank. It's going to have to be 187. No, it can't be right. 186. 186, 5, 4, 3. 4, 5. So, here, we're going to poke uh, 2041, comma, thrust right. Poke five three two five oh comma XL Poke five three two five one comma Y. So that should show the sprite. Yeah, let's try that. Let's see if I've got my numbers right. Oh, this should be interesting. Right then. So as soon as I press thrust, we should end up with a red blob underneath it, but we're not seeing the sprite. We're not seeing the sprite. Oh, I've got to enable the second sprite, Anna, as well. 
So we'll do it here. Hulk. Five, three, two. Now we can do it up there. So that's going to be comma three. So that enables both sprites. So 170. So that's 1088. So I've done it. There. 16 times. Right. Let's run it again. F5. Sprite's still not there. Okay, let's go. Um. <laughs> Trust me, I've probably broken it now. Got it working and broken it. Hi guys. As you can probably tell, my recording failed because it stopped recording sound from now on. But it still recorded all the video. So I thought I'd just voice over on it and uh, explain. So as you can see, I have got the uh, thrust sprite on, but it's static. So I'm not actually telling it to move and that's when I realise because you'll see me go down there you'll see that I've actually poked into the wrong places now your 43250 is wrong and the next one is wrong because that's 52251 and it should be 53251 That's when I realise I'm a Muppet and made a mistake. <laughs> so we'll run it again. See what happens. There we go, starting to fall, and there's the thrust up sprite underneath it, and it's following the uh, the main sprite. So there's the left hand side one. Get it over the peak, and then I should test the right hand one. I think now there you go. So all three sp thrust sprites are actually working. I don't know what I was doing then. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing now. What we're doing. Anyway. I decided that uh, this was enough on this program using BASIC and started thinking about converting it into machine code. So, sorry about the sound issues, but these things happened. So, uh, if you like the video, click that like button. If you dislike the video, fine, hit that dislike button. Always leave me a comment. And if you like what I'm doing and would like to support the channel, uh, consider becoming a patron of mine. I've got various tiers. All the money that's generated on that Patreon account is gone back into the channel. 
And with that, I'll say two half an hour and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.